Okay, uh, good morning. This is uh, Professor David J. De Los Reyes. Okay. My topic for this session will be a very interesting topic and this is on the study of uh, transformers. The name of the topic is actually the computation of the all the efficiency of transformers. Okay, let's proceed. The subject matter for this session is a long video format discussion and this is uh, the study of AC machines. Uh, we are now, or I am now on lesson number 26. We are running smooth. Okay. The title of the topic for lesson number 26 is the all the efficiency of transformers. Uh, all the efficiency is actually very important for uh, utility companies uh, because uh, they want to make it sure that uh, they could deliver power efficiency, efficiently to household or business entities needing electricity. So it's a must that uh, they must know how to compute the so-called all the efficiency for distribution transformers. Distribution transformers are actually the transformers hanging on the poles in which our service entrants are connected. Okay. Okay, uh, let's try to bring out the formula and how to compute for the all the efficiency of a transformer. There is a formula. Okay. Uh, all day, this is a symbol for efficiency. It's a bit, it seems like a big letter N with a tail, and this should be equal to uh, what hour output over what hour output plus 24 times the core losses plus small letter N times the copper losses close bracket times 100%. Uh, <coughs> the formula is just easy, it's just power uh no, it's a watt hour output over watt hour output plus the total losses. But for all the efficiency, it is watt hour. Watt hour. Uh, we are talking energy here. Energy. Energy is actually the product of kilowatt. times hour if we try to multiply this this is termed to as kilowatt hour and this kilowatt hour is actually the one we are paying to utility companies okay so if you see the designation kilowatt hour it's energy that's why like right now energy uh, it's very expensive because uh, utility companies uh, used to increase the rate due to the so-called, uh, you know, what's happening in the world today. Uh, countries are fighting for oil, so actually energy, energy prices are actually very high, right? So in the computation of the old efficiency, it should be the energy output over the energy output plus the total energy losses. Okay? Okay, I will try to bring out one more formula on how to simplify the calculation of this. The last time around, I derived the formula on how to compute for the copper loss. Uh, capital letter P with the subscript copper, again with the subscript N at any load, N. Okay, and this should be equal to N square times the copper loss at full load and the unit is in watts. Okay, uh, there is an N square over here. Uh, N is actually, if N, uh, no, if N is equal to 1, we term that 1 as full load. If n is equal to 2, oh, that's twice full load. If n is equal to 3, 
I'm just giving new examples on how to uh, what you call this uh, visualize the meaning of n. If n is equal to 3, uh, this is 3 times per lot. So just take note of the given problem if what is n. Because in the computation of the copper losses, the correct value of n should be correct, right? So if the problem is asking for the copper loss at a twice per lot, this n here will be equal to 2, right? It is just an example, <laughs> illustration. If the problem is asking for the copper loss at uh, 3 parts per load, n will be equal to 3. So this n here comes in here. Okay? Okay, uh, let's try to bring out the derivation of this before I will give you an example problem. Initially, the first formula on how to compute for copper loss in terms of the apparent power is actually uh, true power is actually k times the kva quantity squared. Okay, if we try to compute for k, k will be the ratio of p over kva square. Okay, and this should be equal to p over kva square. So we are what you call this comparing uh, this ratio here in two load conditions. The left hand side will be full load condition, and the right hand side will be the new load condition. Okay, the new load condition. Uh, this full load condition is given. So the right hand side with the subscript n, the new load condition. New load condition meaning it could be twice full load, it could be thrice full load, right? So if we try to compute for the copper loss at the new load now, Pn, it will be the ratio of the two co k square of the two QBAs. Okay? New at the top, full load at the bottom, times the copper loss at full load. If we try to take the simplification of this we will just represent this one as n okay so the copper loss at n load will be equal to n square where n is actually the ratio of the two QBAs the n load and the full load right because uh, this should be given and this is given so actually we could compute for n times the copper loss at full load so the additional formula on how to compute for the cover loss at nth n load is actually it should be an n square times the copper loss at full load. And the unit of this is in watts. Okay? So if there is a given transformer, you, you do not have to compute for the value of k. We eliminated this k already, okay? Then uh, we take the ratios. Okay, this ratio here is actually k. So, after equating these two here, uh, we could erase k. Right? So, do, we don't have to compute for k. We could compute for k, but the solution will be longer, you know. But if we go directly to the ratio of the two QBAs, okay, we term that as n. So, the copper loss at any nth load will be n square times the copper loss at the load. So this will be the additional formula on how to compute for the all the efficiency. Okay, I will try to give you an example problem. Oh, this is just a simple one. Uh, I will try to read the problem. Uh, a 3 kVA transformer has a core loss of 30 watts and a full load copper loss of 75 watts. Calculate the all the efficiency for the following loads. For the following loads. Since this is an all the efficiency, the basis of the computation should be based on a 24 hour. All the efficiency should be based on 24 hours. Okay, so the given conditions are this. Uh, this 3 kVA transformer, it was used at 1.5 full load and the power factor is 0.85 for 2 hours. Okay. It was used at full load condition, the power factor is 0.90 for a time of 5 hours. Okay. At 3 ports full load, power factor is 0.95 for a time of 6 hours. At 1 half full load, it was operated at the power factor of unity, 
power factor reviority may be for 7 hours the load is just pure lighting loads because the power factor reviority right no load condition 4 hours if we try to take the summation of the operational hours 2 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 4 that will be 2 plus 5 is 7 plus 6 is 13 plus 7 is uh, 20 okay so it was operated for 20 hours with, with loads for 4 hours it got no load the problem is asking for the all the efficiency okay okay let's try to bring out the solution okay i will try to erase this one the solution uh, i just simplify it uh, it's a little bit longer but uh, i simplify it so we could understand it easily output kilowatt hour a uh, kilowatt hour is the product of kilowatts times hours right that's energy okay uh, apparent power is actually ei right okay no 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 power factor Power factor is the ratio of true power. We are talking of true power here in the computation of energy consumption. True power over a power power S. So if we try to compute for the true power, true power should be S times power factor. Okay? So in here, <coughs> uh, this 3 times 0.85 is actually true power. Power. Uh, at what kind of loading is uh, this 3 point times 0.85? It is for 1.5, right? So there is a factor 1.5 here. So this is important here. 1.5 at full load. So 1.5, the true power is actually 3 times 0.85. Uh, this is now in kilowatts. Kilowatts, right? How many times it was operated for 1.5 per load? For 2 hours. So this is multiplied by 2. Okay. So this is now multiplied by hour. So the product of 1.5 times the quantity 3 times 0.85 times 2 is actually kilowatt hour. That's the energy consumption. Okay. For 2 hours of operation. Okay. Next one. At per load. At per load this is 1. The true power is actually power factor at full load. The, the power factor, it was said it's 0 0.90. So this is 3 times 0 0.90. It was operated for 5 hours. So this is multiplied by 1. So this is again kilowatt hour for this operation here. Full load. Next one, 3 ports full load. So this is 3 ports. The true power is 3 times. Uh, the power factor at 3 ports full load is 0 0.95. So this is 3 times 0 0.95. How many hours it was operated for three per load? It is six hours. So this is multiplied by six. Right? The last one. At one half per load. So this is one half. Am I still on camera? This one half. The true power is actually three times one. Why one? Ah, the power factor at one half per load is one, right? So the true power consumption will be three kV times one, or that will be three kilowatts. And how many hours it was operated at half load? It is 7 hours. So this is kilowatts, this hours, it's kilowatt hour. So the units of all of these are all kilowatt hours, and that is energy output. If we try to take this summation, it is this. 44.475 kilowatt hours. That is for a 20 hour operation. Why 20 hour? Because uh, for 4 hours it got no load, right? Okay, let's try to compute for the input kilowatt hour. The input kilowatt hour, obviously it is the output kilowatt hour plus the kilowatt losses. Okay, uh, this is where the problem lies now. The computation of the kilowatts losses. We will be using this formula here. Okay. Uh, we are talking copper loss first. Because in the formula, uh, N times copper loss. Okay, this one. 
uh, the value of this one here should be four quantities. Why four quantities? Uh, it is at 1.5 per load, it is at per load, at three parts per load, and one half per load. So using the first one, 1.5 per load, okay, it will be 1.5 squared. Uh, we are using this formula. The copper loss at 1.5 per load by using this formula will be 1.5 squared. <coughs> the copper loss is actually 75 watts. We will convert it to kilowatts, so we will divide this by 1000. It now becomes 0 0.075. Uh, this is now kilowatts. Right? So, kilowatts. So, meaning to say 75 watts is 0 0.075 kilowatts. How many hours it was operated? Two hours. So this is multiplied by two. Next one. At full load, it should be one square. We are using this formula. Okay. The <coughs> copper loss at uh, full load is 0 0.075. Right? How many hours it was operated? It is five. Right? We'll go with the three parts full load. 3 parts full load, it will, uh, will, will take the square of it we, uh, according to, to, to the formula, right? To compute for the copper loss at 3 parts full load, we square 3 parts times the copper loss at full load, which is 0 0.075. How many hours it was operated? It is 6, right? Last one, at 1 half full load. So N is actually 1 half, we square that one, so this is 1 half square times the copper loss at full load, which is 0 0.075. So if you try to multiply one half square times this, it's, it's the copper loss at one half full load. That is according to this formula. How many hours it was operated? Seven hours. Okay, so this is two plus five plus six plus seven, it's 20 hours. So the copper loss is, uh, what do you call this, uh, for 20 hours. It got no load at for, for four hours. Uh, what's the next one? Plus the core loss. Uh, the core loss, whether it is a, it got no load or no load, the core loss is still there. So the multiplier for the core loss should be 24, right? And what's the value of the core loss? 30 watts. Uh, 30 watts, we convert that to a kilowatt, we will divide this by 1000. So this will become 0 0.03. So this is 0 0.03 times 24. Uh, the core loss should be multiplied by 24 because at, at any load condition for 24 hours, the core loss is still there. Whether there is load or no load, the core loss is there. So the multiplier should be 24. So taking the summation of the four copper losses, this is a copper loss at 1.5 per load, copper loss at per load, copper loss at 3 parts per load, and this is the copper loss at 1 half per load. For the core losses, it should be multiplied by 24. And taking this summation, the total losses is actually 1.81687 kilowatt hour. So the input kilowatt hour now will be the output plus the total losses. 44.475 plus 1.81687. Am I still on camera? What comes out is 46.29107 kilowatt hour. This is energy. The product of kilowatt times hour is kilowatt hour. That's the one we are paying to the utility companies. So all the efficiency now will go back here. We have computed the watt hour, kilowatt hour, the energy output. We have computed the energy losses. We take this up. And that is this up to the denominator is actually the power input, energy input. So this should be 44.475 divided by 46.29107. This is 96.076%. Okay, uh, that's it, guys. That's the way how to compute all the efficiency of transformers. Okay. Uh, we take the individual copper losses at the given load conditions okay first one is 1.5 next one is full load next one is three parts full load next one is one half full load for the core losses okay like what i'm telling you 
If the transformer has no load, there is a core loss. If the transformer has a load, there is still a core loss. So the multiplier is actually 24. Okay? That's the old deficiency by using this formula here and this formula. Uh, I bring out, I brought out this one because the copper loss at any load condition will be n squared times the copper loss at full load. Okay? To simplify calculations. Okay, uh, this is Professor David J. De Los Reyes. Good morning from Los Angeles. This is the topic on the computation of all the efficiency of transformers. Good morning.